So here uh, I'm Cyril. I'm a OTM Cloud Solution Consultant at Oracle. Uh, you have my contact detail in here. Um, and in here you can uh, see the, the topic about uh, today that is about um, technology for integrated uh, logistic performance. Um, so here you, you, you can see um, this picture. Uh, between uh, uh, me uh, with uh, Mr. Anna Post. Um, why, why this picture actually? Um, uh, we speak about performance uh, and for uh, sports and especially Formula One is a very good example um, and it, it's always about the target and resources to reach the target. Uh, uh, when I was with uh, Mr. Post, as you can see in here, I guess uh, every everybody knows uh, Mr. Post, the very well-known uh, Formula One driver. Uh, Mr. Post told me, if you want to reach your target, it has to be reachable within your resources. Right? So uh, you need to know your resources. You need to get visibility about your resources. And um, in a Formula One, for instance, they do a lot of tests, uh, of car tests, and to know the behavior of the car while they are driving. Uh, so Mr. Perez knows very well his resources. So he knows uh, very well uh, the car. He knows very well the technicians and um, and uh, the engineer that are, are working on the car. So uh, he told me that before racing, he knew his final position if all go without, uh, if all goes as planned. So uh, that's very good uh, to 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 fit that experience with the business. So in business and especially in logistics, you need to know your resources. You need to know your your service provider, carrier, fight for water. Um, you need to know your employees. And also like like the cars of Formula One, you need to know your tool. You need to know your your solution. So here we are talking about uh, OTM Cloud mainly. Uh, and this is a very good solution to support uh, your performance, your logistic performance. So that's a quick introduction. And um, in this session, uh, what I'm going to do is uh, that I will drive you through three topics of uh, uh, capabilities. The first one is about the new workbench designer. Um, with this, Workbench design. Here I will show you how to be flexible with your tool, with your solution, your logistics. Uh, internet of to to connect solution. And um, finally, the last point is about uh, a connection uh, together with your WMS. So here it's about uh, Oracle uh, WMS, uh, the uh, so-called uh, Logfire. So uh, Logfire, uh, Oracle has acquired Logfire in uh, 2016. So here I will show you how to be performant by connecting your uh, TMS, so OTM Cloud, with your WMS, uh, Oracle WMS. So in this session I will do to uh, a live demo for the first point. And uh, uh, I, I have recorded some videos um, for IoT and uh, OWMS on my YouTube, to YouTube. You put my name, Cyril Ancelot. Can, you can find it up, up, uh, on YouTube and you will find out uh, those videos.
All right, so the workbench designer uh, quite often speak about uh, but to work with it uh, and that's it. And here with uh, uh, OTM Cloud, it's not that case. It's very, very flexible. So I will show you the look and feel of the workbench. And then I will uh, quickly show you how to customize, how to be flexible and customize the workbench. So you will see uh, the uh, previous solution that was called Advanced Layout and the new solution that is the workbench. So let me now go live. So here I'm connected in a demo platform. Uh, so this is a, a version C. And in here you have the new uh, look and feel that you, you can see here. And in that, uh, in that uh, environment, I have created here um, a menu where you can find uh, the advanced layout solution. So this is the look and feel of the advanced layout. So the version uh, 6.4.1. So here you can see uh, how the, the look and feel. So it's great. Uh, it's already a, a, a nice uh, a solution uh, to, and also very uh, performance because you've got a lot of indicator everywhere. Uh, you can set up new indicator. Uh, you have all your information in one screen. That is uh, actually what the, the planner are looking for. They already want to get information uh, straight away in front of them and uh, they want to react quickly. But um, let's say that, yeah, it's already nice, but it's a bit old-fashioned. Uh, and functionalities um, are start to be limited due to the technology. And if we uh, look at the new um, uh, workbench, so if I go here, this is the new solution where uh, we have invested uh, to get more uh, a, a better design. Uh, it looks like. Uh, uh, a new technology, new design, you still have those kind of indicators. Uh, the, those indicators are a bit better now. Uh, you've got those indicators to, to get uh, everything uh, in one screen and uh, to raise alert whenever you need to get uh, alert. So planner uh, really like that. You also have those uh, right click that you can set up in here. Uh, the selection, you can do the selection and then you've got your menu action on top on here. But what is very, very interesting uh, with this new um, design, this new uh, solution, the workbench designer, is the capabilities to, um, to, to customize it with that technology that is called what you see is what you get. So let me go quickly to uh, edit, editing this workbench. So I click here, edit. So this button is not available for everyone. Uh, it's available for people who have their grants to, to do the, the, the change. So here, I click edit. And you can see now I got new functionalities on top here and new here as well. Right, so meaning that I can change uh, like this. I can add a new content. I can really change uh, in a click the the workbench. And when I click here, then here I will add a new tab beside the shipment here. So I go there. I select a table that I want to display. Then I select an object. So here I want to display something about order release, for instance. And then here I will select uh, what are the columns that I want to, uh, to show, because uh, uh, you can design all, all the columns, all the tables a bit up front um, to, to select it. So here I have selected the order release. 
you can set up also uh, um, the filter you want to apply and you can put a name so here order release I click OK and now I can have a new tab in here that is called order release and what is great is that uh, possibility to get uh, what you see is what you get. So now I go here, order release, I check it out, and if the content is fine, that's great. This is already what I want. If it's not, oh, I did a mistake. So I click here, edit the content, and now I can adjust. Because, for instance, uh, I put all orders and uh, I want to do a specific filter on some orders. So I click here and I have adjusted this, um, this, uh, this screen. So now I can see that is, the selection is this uh, safe query. I click done here and this is it. I just have update my screen uh, within few clicks. All right, so here you can see I got my shipments. I got my order release now, and I can map all the shipments on my uh, on my map uh, uh, below here. And if I go back and I go in again, you will see it's still there. Order release. So that's an example of this workbench. So you have seen this nice look and feel. And also these capabilities to be flexible, ready to, to, to design your tool as your employees want to have it. Um, they need to get some alerts. They need to get a specific columns. They need to get a, a, a map uh, and a table above the map. So all those. Um, uh, all those capabilities are available in a cloud solution and you can design uh, multiple screens like this based on uh, um, people you want to address so if you have a specific requirement from a group of people you can design a screen for that group of people and if you have another one for another group of people you can do another another screen so this is very flexible and this is a new um, uh, functionality that we call the Workbench Designer. Well, so this is about the first uh, topic. Let's move on to the second one, that is uh, the connected uh, solution. So OTM Cloud is what we call uh, IoT ready. So here what I will show you is, um, is the capabilities of the solution to uh, collect some uh, ground data, so like um, the speed of the truck or like uh, where is exactly the truck, um, some information. Here I'm talking about the NFC technology. So you will see that uh, with a, a, a card I can uh, scan my card and automatically I raise an, al an alert or I raise an event in uh, OTM. But uh, before going in, in that detail, you have multiple possibilities uh, to uh, report some ground information. So first, you can, if you want, um, use uh, Oracle uh, IoT uh, solution. Um, so we've got uh, Fleet monitoring, we've got asset monitoring that are mainly used uh, together with uh, uh, OTM Cloud, but you've got also uh, connected worker and you've got also production monitoring. So those uh, solutions uh, are uh, connected to Oracle solution by default. So if you uh, have um, a device in, in your church, uh, that is reported the GPS uh, location, so we can, via the IoT solution, capture this and make relations between the ground information, so the truck and the device that is on the truck, with the IoT 
in order to register that the device is related to that truck and then we can uh, do uh, the connection together with OTM Cloud. So the ground data with the device on the truck, IoT fleet monitoring to pair the uh, device on the truck and the system, and then we can connect uh, uh, the fleet monitoring together with uh, OTM Cloud, and you've got all the information available in OTM. So that's one of the solutions. The second solution is to use uh, another uh, uh, solution such as uh, uh, Shipeo or Jetmove or those kind of uh, solutions that are available on a mobile, a mobile phone or, or, or whatever. And um, <clears throat> we can directly connect those uh, solutions to um, OTM Cloud. So you've got multiple uh, possibilities, and it's really depended on the on the business case. Uh, we've got m m some customer uh, that are looking for uh, connected uh, OTM with uh, directly the truck. So this is uh, something feasible, or with uh, directly with a third-party uh, solution where we can collect uh, GPS information. For, for instance, GPS, but it can be a uh, Something like uh, temperature, um, uh, could be something like uh, uh, vibration. If you are uh, carrying uh, some goods, uh, uh, very fragile, you need to make sure that uh, it's um, it's uh, carrying without vibration. So this is something that we can collect as well. So let me go quickly to a video to show you in live. Uh, what uh, what uh, what is uh, feasible? So this video is available on um, on my YouTube channel. So here, what I did actually is that I I have created a very small app uh, within our uh, mobile cloud services, Oracle mobile cloud services, and this app I put it on my motorbike. Uh, and you can see here the images uh, from my motorbike on my iPhone. And then you will see um, in live uh, when, I, uh, when I, I, I drive through the, this path, you will see it, you will see the, the, the live tracking. So uh, I put a, a bit a speed here in the, in the video. I'm not driving it that fast. And here you can see that system is showing the last position. And if you are not on the, on the right way, you can raise an alert because, uh, uh, for instance, you are out of an area, uh, a geofencing area. And if you are out of this geofencing area, you, you can raise an alert to inform the, the planner that something wrong is happening. So here, you will see it's really, really precise, and we've got the, the detail of all the so all the location that has been reported uh, by uh, the the mobile uh, to OTM Cloud. So here it's a different dot that you can see, and this is created based on event. So uh, you schedule a message from your your mobile phone. Uh, that uh, will send the uh, GPS uh, location, so the longitude and latitude, uh, automatically to an event in uh, in OTM, and uh, then those uh, specific events uh, are available to display uh, those uh, uh, latitude and longitude in uh, in a map. So that's the reason why you can see here like this. So. This is about the uh, live tracking, all right? So one of the example of how we can uh, do uh, real-time live tracking. Um, and I have created another one, another video. Here it's about, um, sorry, here it's about um, uh, Internet of Things. So I have uh, designed a car. Uh, I will show you here the, the picture. So we've got a, um, 
uh, a shipment here uh, that has been tender, uh, but it's not yet started. So I will show you there is in the shipment visibility there is two uh, stop, the departure and arrival. So here, and for the moment there is uh, no information, so it is not started. So here you can see a car that has been uh, designed. So in that car, you can see here I put um, an NFC card. Uh, on that car, there is also a Raspberry Pi uh, that is uh, here in order to make the connection between the car and OTM Cloud. So the car is a Wi-Fi car that I controlled with my iPad. And here I put, all right, so here we are. So here I put my Oracle card on it, and I have set up um, the system uh, to recognize my card. And when the system recognizes my card, automatically I push a message to OTM Cloud. So I scan it, and here you can see already you've got the small track mentioning that uh, OTM received a message, and then this message is that the track has departed. When we scan, when we scan the, the badge, automatically there is an event that is sent to OTM Cloud to, to tell the system, well, this is done. The, the track just started. And then in shipment visibility, you will see the green uh, circle that is done. So mentioning that it started. Well, so meaning that when we are telling um, OTM is IoT ready, that's already uh, available. And it's um, how we can collect those kind of uh, data that are from the ground. So, and here you've got two examples. One is with the GPS connection, latitude and longitude. The other one is with um, an FC card technology where you, you can capture this kind of information, but we can capture quite a lot of information. We can raise, we can cross information in order to raise alert in OTM. So it's really, really, um, uh, data oriented. So when you collect those information, you you, you receive um, many information, and by receiving those information and crossing those information together, you will be more agile. So uh, if you if you have a truck that is arriving in a certain area, you can raise an alert. If uh, the truck is stuck uh, or the boat is stuck in the middle of the sea, you can receive an alert. So we have done also um, an example with the so-called uh, marine traffic uh, solution in order to um, uh, report uh, all the, the boat uh, location and the speed of the boat. So if the speed of the boat is, uh, uh, is zero, is nil, uh, we can raise automatically an alert. So all those uh, information are very, very uh, important um, nowadays in order to, to be more agile, in order to react quickly, in order to uh, receive better visibility and to change the plan if you have to change the plan. So you now have this information and you can uh, hack in order to be, uh, uh, to, to, to be better in your transportation. So this is about how we can connect IoT um, together with uh, OTM Cloud. Well, so now um, uh, the, the last topic is about, um, uh, about OTM and OWMS. So you've got some um, shipments that are planned plan in OTM. You take some appointment within OTM. So within your, your carrier, so your carrier goes online in OTM, they are taking appointments uh, to your warehouse. And um, those messages need to be 
shared with uh, the uh, warehouse manager. Uh, with, um, with OTM and OWMS, we have created a solution that is synchronized uh, so that you will be uh, uh, you will be performant. So here I got two videos to show you. One is about uh, the connection between OTM and OWMS. We have designed uh, a, a quick solution, uh, um, a quick mobile solutions. Uh, together with uh, uh, Oracle Teams, uh, in order to um, uh, provide some visibility for for the warehouse manager about uh, all the plans that is performing OTM. So that's going to be the first demo, the first video. The second video is about um, uh, the mix between IoT, OTM Cloud, and OWMS Cloud. So let me uh, go quickly to the first uh, video. So here is the OTM OWMS Cloud. So here we are in OTM. So I go to uh, uh, shipment and I will check one of the shipments that has been uh, planned. So here we are. So I got here a shipment. Uh, that was planned for uh, two days ago uh, between uh, Leicester Regional to Sterling Filtration. And here we, this is the, the app that we have created. So here I'm logging to that app and that app makes uh, a quick connection between OTM and OWMS. So here I will put the uh, same number of shipment, so 07719. And here I can see that is from Lysister Regional to Sterling Filtration. And then here I will push, I, I will check, oops, sorry, I will check whether we have an appointment number. So here there's a connection with OWMS dashboard and I can see there is a, an appointment number. So now what I'm going to do is that I will go to OWMS, so this is it. And I will check for the appointment, whether this appointment is already there. And yes, it is. So quickly, what you can see here is that you've got um, uh, a shipment that is planned in uh, OWMS, in uh, OTM. Uh, plan, uh, the appointment is planned by uh, the carrier. And this appointment is transferred automatically to uh, OWMS in order to inform the uh, uh, warehouse manager about uh, those shipments that are coming in. And then uh, what we have done within um, uh, the apps is also the possibility to uh, uh, se uh, select a, a specific date and then to see all the shipments that are coming in. So here you are sitting in your in your warehouse, and you want to get some visibility um, about those shipments that are coming in, whether they are on time, on delay, or and so on. So here you can see um, that the, the different shipments that are planned, and you can see when uh, this shipment will arrive. So this is in a minute. So this one will arrive in uh, two hours and four minutes. All right. So. This is just a quick example huh, of what is available in, a, in our solution. So by using uh, OTM uh, Cloud and by using uh, OWMS and also uh, the mobile cloud services uh, capabilities, we can uh, capture information, we can share information, and also we can report, provide better visibility uh, for your uh, for your employees for your for, for for people people from the warehouse or people uh, in the, in the uh, for planners so um, everything is available and uh, we capture this information and we show the information uh, in our solution well let gi let me give you another example with the IoT OTM and OWMS um, uh, solution so this is it so here we will start by um, the uh, fleet monitoring 
So in fleet monitoring, we've got the capabilities to uh, design a geofencing area, right? So geofencing area, I will show you here. I go to geofence, and here we are. So this is a specific area, and when the truck arrives in that area, we raise an alert. So here I go to OTM Cloud, and I can see that there is an alert that has been raised because the truck just arrived in that area. And this alert so is sent to OTM, but it also can be sent directly to um, OWMS. All right, so and here you've got the information because we've got a connection between um, OTM and OWMS. So here you will see the track number. All right, so shipment name here has been reported in here, trailer number. And then we can do the checking. Uh, in the OWMS, we select the dog door. Um, or maybe whether we select the dog door or it has been uh, provided automatically by um, uh, OTM Cloud uh, based on um, the selection that has been done by the carrier. And then here, we start uh, the reception. So receiving started. And we can see the detail of the shipment that has been uh, shared. So here we've got the LPN number, so the pallet number, for instance. And then I can simulate the reception. So here with the, the scan gun here, I select the reception. I put the LPN number, the license plate number that is in here. So here it's a barcode that I scan with my gun here. So I scan the barcode and I start the process of reception. All right, so now when I go here, it's reported as located. And I can do uh, the other one like that. All right, and it is, re it is located, so it is received. So <coughs> in here, in that uh, last topic, I, I show you um, the possibility to connect OTM and OWMS to create in between OTM and OWMS a mobile solution um, in order to uh, report uh, the uh, appointment number or to report uh, the when the truck will arrive. Um, so it's capabilities to connect uh, those solutions together. And in also in that session, in, uh, in that last topic, I show you how to connect the IoT uh, fleet monitoring with the geofencing with your OTM uh, cloud solution and OWMS cloud solution. So we, we really think that uh, um, being synchronized like that with your solution, it's really a way to avoid um, people to uh, type uh, many, many times the same information and to collect uh, information faster directly from the ground. And getting this information faster is really, really key nowadays in order to be able to react uh, quickly. Well, so here we are talking about the OTM Cloud. And um, as you can see, OTM Cloud is IoT ready. Um, OTM Cloud is also blockchain already. Uh, I got also another topic where I uh, have connected uh, OTM with uh, blockchain. Um, also is adaptive intelligence ready. So uh, OTM today we, is really a good solution. OTM Cloud is a good solution for uh, being performance in your logistics. So um, it's uh, all the functionalities uh, that was designed, that was useful uh, in the past, uh, is still useful, it is still uh, available in here. But also with uh, the OTM Cloud, you receive all those new uh, capabilities um, and it's very easy to, to switch uh, with, to, to switch on those capabilities because it's already available and, um, and it's, well, it's a future. It's, 
what we need to uh, to apply in our business to to really uh, stay competitive. So this is it. Is there any questions? Uh, thank you, Cyril. Uh, if there are any questions, please post the questions. Mm, I don't see any questions as of now. Wait for a few minutes. Okay, I see one question here. Uh, Cyril, are you able to see the questions? There's a option to see the questions. No. Okay, so I'll read it out. Are these interfaces out of the box or the user needs to develop? This is from Chakri. Well, there there are um, some uh, some capabilities to receive uh, information um, uh, via uh, X, uh, XML uh, uh, files. Um, the format is already uh, set up, uh, but uh, the connection and especially when we talk about integration interfaces, um, the what is not what is Available is uh, the uh, the technology to connect, but uh, most of the time the biggest part of the work is to um, uh, make sure that the information uh, that we are carrying uh, is uh, is recognized. So let me give you an example. When I was showing in uh, in this uh, demo uh, the shipment. Uh, name, uh, I put the uh, the, the truck uh, name, but uh, and I make this connection together with uh, OWMS with a specific field, and that um, what is uh, difficult when we start to to make some uh, connection is to make sure that uh, the information we collect in the OTM cloud uh, is uh, at the right position in your OWMS solution and the right position is not the position we uh, as a record we want uh, to put it but is where you want to place it and uh, that's um, the biggest part when we speak about interfaces but uh, uh, in terms of technology yes uh, there are some um, uh, uh, connections between IoT and uh, OTM, and between OTM and uh, OWMS, and all those uh, those uh, Oracle technology. I got also on my uh, YouTube channel a video uh, showing uh, the connection between uh, ERP and um, and uh, OTM, and uh, it's about uh, e-business suite. Okay. Uh, Any more so, question? Yeah, we have one more question. Uh, it says, is there a way we can use uh, these features in non-cloud OTM instance? Oh, sorry, I, I, I don't get uh, the questions. Uh, you repeat, is, please? Yeah, is there any way that we can use these features in non-cloud OTM instance, like on-premise? Can we do this in on-premise instance or not? Um, I have no clue about uh, the possibility to, to do it uh, on premise. Um, I really don't know. I'm I'm only working on the, the cloud uh, solution, so I cannot answer any question about uh, on premise. But uh, yeah, I, I guess the technology, uh, uh, except the technology side, I guess. Um, this is something that is uh, feasible the, because of the, the core solution uh, between uh, OTM Cloud and uh, OTM on premise uh, is still, uh, still the same. So I guess it's possible, but uh, I, yeah, I cannot, uh, I cannot tell you. I, I think that uh, if you raise the question in uh, OTM SIG, uh, um, 
you will get some answer in the in the portal. Oh, great, thank you. Are there any more questions? Okay, I don't see any further questions. So, thank you, Cyril. It was a very good uh, session. A uh, lot of new learnings and the capability of OTM, and it is future ready for a lot of things. So, yeah. thank you for it. And uh, we will be uh, uh, sending out the details about this webinar to the OTM SIG team, and then uh, we will get the further information on this. Great. Thank you. Thanks. All everybody. right. Thank you very much. Bye bye. bye.